I'm Jane Carey. I'm one of the associate directors here in the Office of Clear Counseling. And I'm also the director of Science and Technology <coughs> Advising, which for your purposes tonight means that I am your uh, pre-med advisor, your health professions uh, advisor, very much acting in that capacity tonight. This is a meeting for those of you who intend to apply to medical school next summer, 2012, to matriculate in 2013. I'll also be speaking to anybody who is going to be applying to dental or veterinary school. <coughs> Much of what I have to say also applies to you. Is there anybody here from Texas? Okay, good. I have some relevant things to say about Texas. Uh, they're very special in Texas. Um, it is um, a daunting but true fact for those of you who do intend to apply next summer for 2013 that we have to start thinking about all of this in um, 2011, but that's because we all have um, important responsibilities vis-a-vis -vis your application process. My responsibilities uh, include advising you about the process and supporting your applications to those health profession schools with an evaluation letter from Williams. We will also be sending in your other recommendation letters with that evaluation letter and I'll be talking a lot more about that important part of your application in a while. Your responsibilities. Your responsibilities include getting me what I need in terms of information to write you uh, a great evaluation letter and um, applying in a timely way to ensure that you have a good crack at being accepted. I want to talk um, first about some terminology that I'll be bandying about that you'll get familiar with. <coughs> For those of you who applying to MD medical schools, and every year that's the vast majority of the group, the AAMC, the Association of American Medical Colleges, is the mothership of all MD medical education in this country. It supports pre-meds through residents through uh, doctors, based in Washington, D.C. They produce the MCAT, the test you have to take before you apply, AMCAS, which I'm going to be speaking about extensively. That is the Medical College Application Service. That's the um, common app that you would use to apply. And the, Med and, and the MSAR, which is the Medical School Admissions Requirements book I'll be showing you. If you're applying to osteopathic medical school to become a DO, another four-year medical school, uh, their uh, headquarters also in the Washington area um, are ACOM and they, uh, their common application is the ACOMIS application, much like the AMCAS application. To apply to DO schools, you also need to take the MCAT. Those of you from Texas, if you want to apply to Texas schools, they have their own application process. All the schools except Baylor, which is uh, a private institution. All the Texas schools, you need to apply through this uh, application service, as well as uh, AMCAS if you're applying outside of Texas. It is a great advantage to be from Texas um, because they do have a lot of medical schools and they all favor Texas. <coughs> ADSAS is the dental application service. ADEA is their professional association of dentists. The ADA is the group that, among other things, um, produces the <coughs> DAT, the dental, the dental application test dental admission test. And so all dentists have to take the DAT. pre <coughs> um, may take uh, a particular test that they have, um, the veterinary admission test. But actually most uh, vet schools will accept the GRE, which is nice for vets, and some will even take um, the MCAT. Why would you take the MCAT if you didn't have to? Well, I cannot imagine, but uh, <laughs> some people um, have a change of, of, of direction, maybe while they're filling out secondaries. But more about that later. The process by which I collect and send your recommendation letters is important, and you should learn about that. 
The process by which we collect them is called VE Collect. And this is not our own process. It's uh, started by people, very smart people at Duke University. They first had developed virtual avals, which is a way that many schools have been sending your collected letters of recommendation virtually to medical schools for years. So VE Collect is a prequel, um, if you will, that was devised a couple years ago. And it is uh, a slick way of recommenders uploading their recommendations to a site. You're being able to go in and check and see whose recommendations um, are in and um, notifying me. And um, then we can just send them virtually when we receive a processed copy <coughs> of your application through one of these services. Secret code, not so secret since I'm telling you, but it is a code that you will not find on a website that you will need to ask me for. EF9955-7. Seven six four zero six eight six dash dit slash dot. That is a code that you will need to register on VE Collect. <coughs> you won't get anywhere without that code. Okay? If you forget it, obviously I will tell it to you. We buy, Williams buys a hundred places, <coughs> spots on this server for um, Williams applicants every year. I buy 100, not because I have 100 ap applicants, but because I want to support people who may be seniors and know that in another year they're going to apply. So if you're just, a, if you're a junior and you're just here for the heck of it because you're an eager beaver, that's fine. But I don't want you taking up one of my valuable 100 spots <coughs> until I know who my people are who are actually going to apply, who need those spots on campus and off. OK? Seniors, <coughs> as I said, if you know you're going, if you're not applying next year, but you're going to be soon, and you want to ask for recommendations while you're here on campus, which is a darn good idea, you can create a, a file. Okay. It's all very self-explanatory. 